Hello everyone, the Big Easy Chef here. This time, we're going to be making a Reuben sandwich. If you've never had one, this sandwich has Swiss cheese, corned beef, sauerkraut, on rye bread. This sandwich is grilled, melting the cheese, heating the corned beef, and sauerkraut. Once the Reuben is grilled, then you add Thousand Island dressing, and then you bite into one of the best sandwiches that you'll ever taste. So let's not waste any more time. Why don't you and I run into that kitchen? Kitchen and see what's a shaking and get to bacon. Now you want to start by heating your skillet on medium heat. Let the skillet set on the burner long enough to get nice and warm. Now take a slice of rye bread and put some butter on the bread. Be generous with that butter. You don't want to skimp here. Now lay the slice of bread buttered side down into the warm skillet. Cover the bread with some good Swiss cheese. And it looks like I'm going to add one slice and a half slice. Now for the corn beef. Cover the slice of bread with corned beef. You can pile it on as high as you like. This corned beef I have is sliced pretty thick, so I think one layer is going to work out just fine. Now if you want to know how to cure corned beef, I have a video on how to cure corned beef. I'll place the link in the description box below, so check it out. This is some of the best corned beef you'll ever taste. Okay, now back to our sandwich. Add some sauerkraut. Now I like to use the sauerkraut that comes in the jar. I rinse the sauerkraut with plenty of water to get rid of some of that salt. A sauerkraut has plenty of salt. Let the sauerkraut drain well before using. Pile on that sauerkraut. Now it's time for another layer a Swiss cheese. Again, I'm going to use one and a half slices. I want to cover the whole sandwich with cheese. Okay, with the cheese added, now add another slice of rye bread. Make sure to butter the side that's facing up. And again, be generous with that butter. Cover the skillet with a lid. We want to make sure the cheese melts, the sauerkraut and corned beef get nice and hot. Be sure to watch your heat as you don't want to burn this sandwich. Medium seems to work perfect. Now after say two or three minutes, you want to check the bottom side of your bread to see if it's golden brown. This is when you want to flip your sandwich over. Give it as much time as needed. You don't want to rush this. Just be careful not to burn the bread. And as you can see, the bottom side has turned golden brown, just the way we wanted it. I can see the cheese is melting. With our sandwich turned over, put the lid back on the skillet. Oh, this is going to taste so good. After two or three minutes, it's time to start checking on the status of the bottom of our sandwich. And when it's golden brown, just like the top, our sandwich is grilled. Okay, let's get this sandwich out of the skillet and finish it off. Now with the sandwich out of the skillet and on a plate, pry this sandwich open. You can see that melted cheese, the hot corned beef, and hot sauerkraut. Okay, now it's time for that Thousand Island dressing. If you don't know how to make Thousand Island dressing from scratch, I have a video on how to make this great tasting dressing. I'll put the link in the description box below, so check it out. Now back to our sandwich. Pour on the dressing. You don't want to be bashful with that dressing. This is a case where more is better. With the dressing on a Reuben, cover it back up and let's cut this Reuben sandwich into half. Okay, now you can see how easy it is to make a Reuben sandwich. You can see that melted Swiss cheese, the hot sauerkraut, the hot corned beef, the toasted bread, the Thousand Island dressing dripping out. So you know what time it is. It's time to dig in. You can find this free printable recipe and instructions at my website, The Big Easy Chef. Com, so check it out. Okay, you can call the police station and tell them from now on you'll be in charge of grilling things. Remember what they say, you are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time, I am the Big Easy Chef.